Up, Capricorn. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does, oh shit, if it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Alright, something's trying to move forward, or either a decision is there, but it's kind of like, um... It's either being rushed or somebody stubbornly like holding it back. Nervous. That might be. Because something, it could be moving, traveling, but it's like moving towards something. Um, but there's some, somebody's overthinking it. Alright. Or, or fear is kind of kicking in. Yeah, there's that Eight of Swords again. Alright. We got the Three of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. All right, so basically this could be somebody that's at a distance or something that you've been waiting for. Uh, finance is looking good, but you might just be trying to either start a business, figure things out, make a decision within the situation, whatever it is. There's been a wait, right? Um, but you are investing time and energy. So with the Seven of Pentacles, that is a very slow moving energy, but it's putting your time and energy into something, whether it's romantic or, you know, um, just yourself, your career. So something is about to move forward where there's been some type of weight. Now there's movement and that's making somebody nervous. You literally could be moving or traveling. But you could also be pulling away from something. Because it feels like, show me the three of wands. Show me the three of wands, please, for Capricorn. It could be around traveling or something that's at a distance. Because there could be travel at the end of this. But it feels like just in general, there's been some type of weight. You may have had to, um, well, somebody's been holding back their feelings. Or you may have been trying to save up money for this. Take it out, it resonates. But um, not really overspending, things like that. But there are there is an emotional aspect of things where it's like somebody wants to speak up. They want to voice their opinion. They don't want to lose things. This Emperor Aries energy. So somebody's trying to invest in the, in into the situation. But it feels like there's been some type of, this will be a change, a transformation. Because it feels like there's been some type of pullback, or possibly even yeah, somebody could have considered been having some type of financial issues. Show me the Seven of Pentacles for Capricorn. That's King of Wands. Now somebody's taking charge. The Queen of Swords. That's who they're gonna get met with. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy with the King of Wands here. The King of Wands is kind of like a, in this energy, it's kind of like being proactive. Somebody is. King of Wands can be really busy, though. Very confident. In some situations, it can be a merry man. But the way this, yeah, see, they can't, they can't figure out how you're feeling with the higher priestess. Because the way you're approaching this, well, I guess it depends what side you're on. Um, but the feminine energy, like, there, there's, you're kind of, guarded around it. Something about this makes you nervous. This person, it feels like it, you're keeping a lot in, but they're extremely intuitive too. Like they can kind of read you. Still not a lot of movement there. They can't figure out how you're feeling, but the investment's being made. So with the Seven of Pentacles, that is about, you know, it's like it, it takes time. Oh wow, your finances really look like they're doing good. They're they're coming up. This person's intimidated by you as well. 
this could be an energy that's like um you may work with this person because it could have a single male here as well masculine energy they don't know how you feel though they're intimidated show me this outcome please this could be somebody that you work with show me this outcome for capricorn please Wow, the Page of Wands and the Chariot. All right, a couple of things here. If you are traveling or like going somewhere in a car, moving van, whatever it is, there could be finding, um, car troubles. But also, I mean, you're, you're kind of, however this is going to resonate, you're moving forward. You're leaving difficult times like this pullback energy or this waiting time. It's, it's going away. You're moving forward. Things are in a forward motion, you're excited, you're curious, just a little bit nervous. Oh, these lovey dovey feelings. The feelings are mutual. You have the power to manifest this. For some, it's just because, you know, you may be afraid to kind of, like, and not even afraid, but um, kind of hesitant to just open your heart and express how you feel. And that kind of, I guess, would depend on the situation. Like if it is something around work, maybe it's. Not the place. This weight, this pause is over. Things are moving forward. If you are moving or, you know, you could be moving, could be traveling, but we're coming to this more lovey-dovey energy away from the pause. Something the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Somebody, you may be kind of worried around like the I don't know, the effort. With the Ten of Wands, that's really having to work hard for something. That's really having to, like, sometimes a lot of work may feel like a lot of weight or responsibility. And that, or it could just be the stress that's causing that. Because with the Nine of Swords, it's like losing sleep. A lot of anxiety around something. Something that kind of feels like it's difficult or still up in the air trying to figure something out here sometimes with that that king of wands energy especially if it is a past person or you know somebody who's just really busy sometimes the king of wands can be a married man but that could be something where there are a lot of feelings <clears throat> that's that's not the question but you know some things may never just like settle down or at least at the moment it's just it's just an uh, immediate future because we are going from the king of wands to a page <clears throat> so this could be somebody who is like younger or um maybe just not there yet all right capricorn i hope this helped if it resonated i uh, please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.